The seeds you need to be planting, in fact, there's really only one main seed that you need to be planting if you want to grow your social media. Understand that your social media will not grow unless you have in place the things that I'm gonna talk about in this video. And so if you're wondering what that is, you're in luck because we're gonna get into it right now. Hey, hey, Courtney Sanders here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to me, I'm a full-time online life and business coach as well as wife and mom. I wear all the hats and do all the things. And I really built this business from scratch, like from scratch, scratch, like from zero followers, right? And I know that's hard to believe now because I do have a following on YouTube. I do have a following on Instagram. You know, I have um, tens of thousands on my email list, so I get it, right? But it kind of grinds my gears when people think that a lot of the strategies and suggestions that I provide on this video and on my YouTube channel in general only work if you're at the level that I'm at. And so one thing that I always like to remind people is don't mistake the fruit for the seeds, right? And what I mean by that is don't mistake the fruit of my life, right? The things that I'm able to um, have and experience now in my life and business as that I needed those things in order to get to where I am, right? I only have those things now because I planted different seeds early on. And so in today's video, I wanna talk about specifically the seeds you need to be planting. In fact, there's really only one main seed that you need to be planning if you want to grow your social media. This is something that is timeless that worked back when I was getting started back in 2009. And then when I was coaching um, at the beginning of my journey in 2014. And even now, as we think about all the changes that social media is going through and all the noise and how many people are out there competing, trying to get their messages heard online, this is even more important now than it was probably when I was first coming up in my entrepreneurial journey. So if you've been watching all of these YouTube videos about algorithm hacks and you wonder why it's not working, understand that your social media will not grow unless you have in place the things that I'm going to talk about in this video. And so if you're wondering what that is, you're in luck because we're going to get into it right now. All right, let me just cut to the chase. I know you're like, okay, Courtney, what is it? What is it that is going to help my social media grow? I haven't heard anybody talk about this. In fact, this is something that we go in detail in my signature program known as the Next Big Name Bootcamp, where we show coaches how to develop this so that they can attract clients. But the number one thing that you need in order to grow your social media and attract clients and do all those other things is you need what I call iconic insight, okay? Iconic insight. This is something that I have really um, built my entire business on. This is something that I hang my hat on. And it's not something though that I see a lot of online entrepreneurs and a lot of coaches talking about. So what is Iconic Insight? What do I mean when I say that? Iconic Insight is specifically the wisdom that only you can give based on your own life experiences and the way that you see the world. This is so important for social media growth and for client growth and for business growth in general is because iconic insight, particularly for coaches, industry experts, consultants, anyone who's selling their knowledge or their wisdom for a living, your iconic insight is the number one thing that will trigger word of mouth. And word of mouth is so important even above and beyond the algorithm in today's day and age. And word of mouth is really something that I have built my business on and something that really continues to grow my business, again, even in this age of algorithms. But what triggers word of mouth, again, is your ability to one, have and communicate iconic insight. And so I have done this from the very beginning. Again, you can go on my website and look at my old blogs. I have always shared my wisdom, shared my insight based on the unique experiences that I was having, based on um, just the way that I saw the world. And people have always said, you know, I know there's other people in this industry speaking on these, these subjects and these topics, but I love the way you break it down. And it's just something about the way you communicate this that I feel like, you know, I only get it when I hear it from you. The thing is, over time, people have started to believe that this is just a unique talent that I have. And while I do recognize that I am good at it, understand that I had to receive training in order to get this, right? This isn't something that I was like born with or that I woke up with. This is something that I have spent a lot of time and a lot of money mastering. And so if you want to grow your social media following, especially as an industry expert or consultant, I cannot stress enough how important it is that you focus on that iconic insight. And I say this because I think people are getting lost in the conversation around social media growth where they're focused on all these hacks, right? How long should my reels be, right? How long should I do the longer TikToks? Cause now, you know, TikTok, I can make three minute videos or should I keep them short? Should I dance? Should I lip sync? Should I point at air bubbles? Should I focus more on shorts or long form videos on YouTube? Is podcasting still a thing? Is blogging still a thing, right? It's all these like 
tactics, right? What tactics should I be focusing on? Not realizing that at the end of the day, especially as a coach or an industry expert, people are coming to you for your unique wisdom. They are coming to you for your unique insight. And so if you cannot communicate that unique insight or worse, you don't even have any unique insight, it is going to be very difficult to trigger that word of mouth because what are people telling their friends about, right? Like, oh yeah, some random person that I follow online who's just like everybody else and is saying the same thing everybody else is saying. Yeah, they made um, a TikTok dancing post talking about the same thing everybody else is talking about. Why would anybody <laughs> refer a post like that to their friends? Exactly, they wouldn't. And so this really needs to be the thing that you focus on. Forget the algorithms, forget everything else. Not saying that they can't be helpful or like, you know, structuring your reel in such a way is not important, but I think people are mistaking what I call the pots and pans for the dish, right? Yes, there's certain kitchen equipment or certain pots and pans that will help you really create a gourmet meal. But at the end of the day, people are coming to your house or if you're a restaurateur, they're coming to your restaurant specifically for the dish, right? Not um, the pots and pans that you cooked it in. And so I think the, all these algorithms, all of these social media tactics and strategies are really like the pots and the pans and everybody's getting so caught up on, do I have the right Teflon pan? Do I have the right, right nonstick pan? Where the question is, do you have the right recipe, right? Are you making something worth eating? Are you making something that people are going to to want. And again, if you were in the industry expert space, coaches, consultants, at the end of the day, you were in the wisdom business and that is ultimately why people are coming to you. And so it's so important that you really develop that iconic insight first and then ask yourself, okay, what's the best way that I can, you know, share this on social media, but understand that people are coming back for the insight, not, you know, the way that you dance on TikTok or whatever it is. So if you're wondering how do you come up with iconic insight, you do this in one of two ways. The first way is you wanna make sure that you have regular experiences. You wanna be creating experiences in your life. I find that too many people, when they are focusing on building their business, they get chained to their laptop and they're just like, I am gonna sit in this space and I'm gonna bang on this keyboard. <laughs> My laptop's in front of me, that's why I'm looking at it right here. And I am not going to move forward until I've like, done everything I need to do to, you know, build my business. I have found that some of the best things that I have done to build my business have actually been away from my home office, have actually been away from my laptop and has been me living my life. Because when I live my life and I make sure that I have unique experiences to share, that sparks unique insight, right? I'm able to come up with wisdom, again, married with my unique perspective that only I can come up with because only I am the one that is living this experience in real time. And so that is the whole point. And so if you're really stressed out about your business and you're like, ah, I feel like I'm not getting clients at the level that I want to, I'm not getting the amount of followers, I would ask you, are you living enough life, right? Are you living life outside of your business so that you can experience the world, experience new things and actually come up with unique insight so that you actually have something to share. Because just being real, there are a lot of people online who are sharing from empty cups, right? Their cup is not full themselves and they're so stressed out about their cup not being full and by their bank accounts being empty that they are trying to give from an empty cup and nothing is there and people can see it, right? You really don't have anything interesting to share. You don't really have any wisdom. You're not really saying anything that anyone else isn't saying. You're saying the same thing that everybody else is saying. And then you're mad that people aren't liking or following your social media platform. Well, why should they? Because your stuff is just the same as everyone else. So you want to make sure that you are prioritizing and creating time for having unique life experiences so that you do actually have something interesting to share. I had multiple podcasts that came out of my trip to South Africa, for example. Um, earlier this year, I ha held a retreat with my clients in February in South Africa. I was in um, Johannesburg and then Cape Town, and it truly was a life-changing experience. Hint, hint, we're actually going back, so if that's something that you are interested in joining me with, make sure that you you know stay connected to my page and to this channel because we'll be putting out details if you wanna place your deposit and come on the trip with us next time. But while I was there, I had so many amazing experiences that it created so many aha in my life that I was able to parlay that, yes, into paid programs, but also into free content. And just, again, unique insight and unique wisdom that, again, only can come from me because only I was the person with my unique experience, even amongst uh, the other people who were on the trip with me, even though we were in the same place, we were all having different um, insights that were popping up, up from us based on the experience mixing with our you know internal life experience and our past history. And that's what creates unique insight where no one can compete with you. So you want to make sure that you are prioritizing those unique experiences. But in addition to that, 
you want to make sure that you are prioritizing your own achievement and that you are achieving new things. One of the greatest ways to come up with wisdom and insight is to hit a new milestone in your own life. And so again, people get so focused on how do I grow this business? How do I get clients? that they're not prioritizing their own personal growth and their own personal achievement in every arena of their lives, right? There are milestones that I hit in my, in my fitness, milestones that I hit as a mom or just in my parenting, milestones even that I hit in my marriage and breakthroughs that I have with my husband that then all connect to unique insight that I am able to share with my clients and with my audience, even if it's not on that subject, right? There are lessons that I learn while parenting my children that I realize connect with something that I'm coaching on in a coaching program. And again, it's a unique way that I'm able to share perhaps an old point, but it's so that my audience gets it. And I would have never been able to create that insight had I not focused on achieving those milestones in my own life. And so again, a lot of people, they're not um, actively achieving their own goals. They're not setting goals for themselves. They're not always moving forward. And therefore they don't have anything new to share, right? They're not creating new experiences, but they're not experiencing new levels in their own life. And so if you watch uh, my podcast, if you're here on YouTube, or maybe you listen to my podcast, if you listen to the audio version on iTunes or Spotify, you know that I have a whole series called the CEO series, which is me sharing insight that I am gaining as I continue to hit new milestones in my business and to grow and to continue to show up as a leader and I'm learning new things, that triggers new insights that I am able to apply to the various areas of my coaching, even non-business coaching, right? Because I am a certified life coach as well. And so there's life coaching that I am able to offer. And so oftentimes these new experiences that I'm happening, having in my business contribute to the insight that I'm able to share from the coaching side as well. So again, make sure that you are experiencing life, but make sure that you are experiencing new levels of life by making sure that you are achieving new things in your life and business. All right, hopefully this video was eye-opening to you and it's giving you permission to stop chasing the algorithms. If anything that I said resonated with you, particularly this idea that you need to make sure that you are achieving things consistently in your life so that you do have new insight to share, I highly recommend that you join my program, No Excuses Woman. This is actually a reboot of my first ever uh, signature program that really put me on the map in life coaching. It was my 21 day self-discipline challenge and I have since rebooted it now that I have new insight. When I first created uh, the 21 day self-discipline challenge, I wasn't a mom. Um, I don't even know, was I married or I might've been newly married, but I was in my late twenties. I was at a completely different space in my life. And so now that I have grown in wisdom, I have repackaged this and really added new wisdom into this. And so this is my program that is not only going to show you how to be disciplined as you work towards achieving your goals, but it's going to give you my goal setting process and how I'm able to constantly make sure that I am upping the ante in my own life and achieving achieving things so that I do have that insight and that wisdom to share. So if you're feeling a little stuck and you're like, you know what, I need to start working on some personal goals and achieving the next level in my own life so that I can coach others to do the same. I highly recommend that you join this no excuses woman program. You can learn all about it by clicking the link in the description box below. All right. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you loved it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you can't wait for my next video, make sure that you are subscribed to my podcast, the Courtney Sanders show on both iTunes and Spotify. And if you can't wait for my next YouTube video or my next podcast episode, make sure that you are following me on Instagram. It's Courtney L. Sanders on Instagram. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.